crayons, markers, colored pencils. Meet Sarah Newhouse, principal of Glenwood Elementary School in the Robles School District in Sacramento. Careful though. Construction paper, uh, notebook paper. Ask her about some of the items her school could really use and she'll tell you. Glue sticks, scissors, uh, even pencil sharpeners. Why? It's pretty much embedded within their day that they're going to need to use these supplies. So the school makes sure that each student has their own box filled with the necessary school supplies. And for the families that can afford to, well, they purchase their own. We do ask parents to um, have their children bring something at the beginning of the year or throughout the school year, but um, our families were about 90% Title I free and reduced lunch, so sometimes our families aren't able to do so. Glenwood has been able to purchase many of these supplies using the enhancement funding it receives from the California Lottery. This funding was always meant to be in addition to the education funding pie. It was great. <laughs> and there was a time when we, we didn't have to want. We could just ask and, and it was there. Unfortunately, over the past couple of years, it's really changed. Now, many of us might say, I remember getting by with just a pencil and some paper. But we now live in the computer age full of gadgets and gizmos. We've even moved beyond a standard blackboard. When you give them a colored pencil or a crayon, it's amazing how you can see their work just come to life. So sure, it might seem like just a pencil box. Come on, it's crayons and glue stick until you don't have one. Sixth grader Dunya Mahmood remembers going into panic mode the day she left her school supplies at home. I was um, nervous that I wasn't, because I didn't have like my crayons and other things that I, we were um, using that day. Dunya says she got through it by borrowing from her classmates. She was behind all day having to wait for them to finish their own work first. I needed most of my things, but I didn't have them, so the day was a little harder. An elementary school campus is an incredibly busy place. Everywhere you look, you see kids in action, both physically and mentally, taking on everything from complex calculations to creative writing. I could express myself and write about different things that go on in my life. These school supplies have become the go-to items necessary to encourage students to get things done. They get so motivated, they want to just do more. As does Principal Newhouse, who says supplies are one thing, but you can never forget about this. It's still working with the children. It's when they pop in my, into my office and they say good morning or they come in and want to read a book. That's the best part.